Hello, I am Dr. Tina Thomas, obstetrician and gynecologist, Bangalore. Now, first thing we have to find out what are the thyroid levels and if they are properly controlled. So, uh, hypothyroid status can be a part of subfertility treatment or can be a part of fertility issues. So, thyroid has to be corrected and uh, appropriate treatment with thyroid tablets should be done and uh, it takes almost 2 to 12 weeks for the thyroid levels to come back to normal. So these are the things in a fertility issue patient. We also do certain thyroid antibodies, antiperoxides and um, other antibodies which are done. Uh, if they are positive then at rare cases without a change in the thyroid stimulating hormone TSH levels there are they are sometime put on low level of thyroid hormones. So, now these hormones are safe and do not affect the thyroid levels have to be maintained normal to conceive and hence it is important that the thyroid levels are maintained. Once the thyroid levels are maintained and there is still fertility issues, then thyroid is not the cause. We have to find out the cause of fertility and treat accordingly. The symptoms that can be associated with thyroid issues, sometimes the patient comes with lot of symptoms, but uh, we have wouldn't have done a thyroid test as a, as a check. So uh, there is to cold intolerance basically, lot of dry skin, constipation, lot of less water in the body. So whatever causes less water, those all irritation happens and cold intolerance is severe. So these are the other signs when you are seeing the signs, it's better to do the thyroid test and treat accordingly.